Housing is at the centre of uh, rural community life. It affects your, your, your health status, it'll affect your ability to get and keep a job, it'll affect you know, the ability to rear children the way they should be reared, so it's so fundamentally important. Rural housing started I suppose as part of a big push on the whole rural development front that would have started to take place in the mid-1980s and then really accelerated the end of the 80s and the start of the 90s. From memory there was a group of us came together to try and get this thing going and we were all largely I suppose people from west of the ban and people who had already been heavily engaged in rural development. But if my memory's right, and it probably isn't, I think me and Patsy McShee and the one and only Patsy, we actually tossed a coin for who would be the chair. But it's small numbers of the right thing in the right place at the right time for the right people. And if you can do that, you will make life an awful lot better for those people. Good quality, affordable housing in rural communities allows people to work and develop in supporting their local communities rather than being concerned all the time about how you're going to put a roof over your head and will you be able to live and afford to live in a high quality home. So living in a rural area gives people who have rural living backgrounds the opportunity to stay within their community amongst lifelong friends and family where they are supported by rural community structures. Well, country living is very healthy anyway and personally for me I was brought up on a farm so I'm really used to country life which is always been my way of life and going on to the town to live. It may be handy for work situations but for me the town was not the same and this just reminds me of where I grew up. You're just a short space out of town, you're being three miles out of town here but it's a small village and there's a warmth about it, there's a coziness about it. it means I was moving here last November. On the site here we only have six residents and I've got to know them all and they're very very warm, friendly, helpful. I suppose they look at me as a grandpa of the place. But I mean, I have neighbours here, they put the bins out for me, they would ask me if I need shopping, they'd ask me if I need a lift, they help me with a wee bit of gardening there. I mean, I want for nothing here. Community garden is just something that's been uplifting for us all. It's we really state because there are only nine of us and the children are enjoying getting to know how to plant stuff and just living in the country area and growing and making means for yourself to produce is really amazing with the raised beds and polytunnel hopefully for the winter. This is actually going to make a big difference for everybody here. It's important to, to give full consideration to any design but particularly in our rural environments because they are so susceptible to change. Uh, they've got their own unique character and their own unique forms uh, and each place in Northern Ireland and in the region is, is has got its own uniqueness and its own uh, its own mark that makes it where it is. Uh, I love the area. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's what you call rural. <laughs> so the Rural Housing Design Guide is a document which was produced by uh, the association back in 2013-2014. It contains uh, site identification planning, design and construction advice to aid the association with the uh, development and production of high quality social houses. Rural housing are probably one of the most uh, forward and uh, kind of advanced uh, housing associations uh, in the region, in our experience. They are groundbreaking in producing the Rural Design Guide. The values that were espoused in the original uh, foundation of the Rural Housing Association still remain the same and that is about how we uh, want to provide good quality affordable housing for people in rural areas that reflects the nature of the rural community in which they live. But one thing rural is doing is it's still doing what it's set out to do which is to provide social housing in the right place at the right time for the right people in the right way and that's still a hugely important, it's a hugely important thing to be delivering here. If my accountant's right, if you include in the houses that have been sold on to their tenants, like Rural has provided somewhere between six and 700 social houses. Now in the currency that some of us in the world of rural would operate in, that's the size of a big rural parish. That's what a big rural parish would be. So Rural has delivered housing for an entire rural parish across rural Northern Ireland. That's something that's very, very important and equally I think it's something that everybody involved in that should be very proud of. Just summarising, I just love the place. I feel very safe here, I feel comfortable. Um, it's a nice quiet area 
and I would like to take this opportunity just to thank rural housing. I mean, if it has a, it's a warm, cosy feel as if you're a member of the family with rural. I have a very good working relationship with them all. It's a matter of lifting the phone anytime you need them, and they always respond. First class to rural.